Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series which is titled as Understanding Pinnacle 21 Issues in HTTM Datasets. So this video is part of the playlist which is titled Pinnacle 21 Issues. So if you are watching this video first, so I suggest you watch the previous videos from this playlist. So as I have covered or provided some details extensively in the previous videos. So in this video, we will see an example or some of the issues which could be seen in LB dataset. And I am using the modified data from HDTM IG 3.3 for this example. So I have placed the data, modified data in an Excel file so that uh, I could easily tweak things instead of uh, depending on my program to update things. So I have placed the data in an Excel file. I'll import it into a SAS dataset and then convert it into an XPT file and then generate the P21 report. So again, on any live study, so you would be using your actual data sets, not from the ones which you are importing into an Excel file. So I'll let's go back to the SAS program that, that imports this sheet and then converts into a SAS data sets and then into XPT file. So I have executed this program. So it said my XPT file is ready. So I'm going back to Pinnacle 21 selecting validator. So I'm using the latest available engine for FDA, which is 2204.1. And then as we are uh, making this video on SDTM, so we need to select the standard as SDTM. As we are using the examples from SDTM IG 3.3, so I have selected the configuration as SDTM IG 3.3 FDA. And then I am using the latest available uh, control terminology. So in this, so without making any changes here, so I am using the 25th March 2022 data uh, control terminology as input. So let's select the XPT file as input. So as we are covering examples for a specific domain, I am selecting only the domain of interest. So let's go ahead and click on the validate button. So it said our validation is complete and 17 messages were generated and 605 checks were performed overall on the data which we provided. So let us open the report and then take a look at the issues. So here on the validation summary sheet, we have the engine level information and the HDTM IG level information, which we have chosen and the control terminology version, the date when the file is generated and some other software related information. So, and then we have our data set summary. So as we have passed only one data set, we have an entry for one of the data sets along with the global metadata checks. And then we have our issue summary sheet. So wherein we have the summary of the issues found in global metadata along with that in LP metadata. So we know that we'll have the details of these issues found in the detail sheet. So let's go ahead and go to the details sheet. So here we have entries for LB domain. So we'll try to see, uh, fix a few of them in this video. So here the first one says LB test, sheet, test value not found in laboratory test name extensible code list. So here if we see the value seems to be truncated. We only have small a uh, just ALB. So it could have been albumin or something. So the value is truncated and it says there is no standard value in the control terminology which is ALB. So we need to check and fix this. If it is case of a truncation, we need to uh, use the exact value. So we'll try to see how to fix this. So and we'll also see it says LB test CD and LB test values do not have the same code in CD CT. So LB test CD and LB test have a control pair of control terminology in which the values will be in one to one format, one to one relationship. So it says for the test CD ALB and uh, the value ALB in LB test may not be the exact match or it could be vice versa. So if we are using ALB, if ALB is correct in LB test CD, in test value, so ALB in all caps in LB test CD could be wrong. So we need to check both of them and then fix one of those. So we'll see how to fix this as well. 
and then it said lbdtc invalid iso 8601 value in lbdtc variable on one of the records if you see on record 2 it said records 2 in the sense the observation number in our input data set so in lbdtc so the date value seems to be incorrectly formatted so let us also try to see and fix this issue as well and then we have this issue which says lb test cd comma lb test has inconsistent values so inconsistent value in lb test was within lb test cd so we will also see how to identify this case so what does this mean is like within a lb test cd so we have it in the as we know that lb test cd and lb test should have one to one relationship <coughs> sorry it said there is more than one record within a value of alb so let us see the how to programmatically check that so how i manually check is i have my lb data set available here so i'm opening a new program so i all i do is simply use my proc freak before that i will do one thing i'll just try to get the unique values present in lb test cd versus lb test so the issue was inconsistent value for lb test within lb test cd so there is a lb test cd value in which there is more than one unique value for that test cd so for that what i am trying to do here is i am fetching the unique values for lb test cd and lb so let's keep only lb test cd and lb test so let us run this and then see the output data set so uh, let's open the how dsn data set so seems like there is an issue let us okay so i have used an asterisk here so i'm replacing and correcting that and that is double is equal to sign here so let us also fix that so now we have our data set ready let us open that out dsn so here now we have unique combination of lb test cd and test so in the next step what i will do is i will try to write the number of records for each lb test cd so if i run this what would happen is i would get so i should have used my out dsn as input so here i am getting the unique values within each lb test cd and lb test and i am counting the number of records for each lb test cd so if for something if it is greater than one the frequency is greater than one so it means that there exists more than one record within a lb test cd so let us see that so for alb if we see here there are so if I go back and open my out DSN, so what happened? There were two records. So this is what the test uh, that check was testing. So inconsistent value within a LB test CD. So inconsistent value for LB test within a LB test CD. So this is how you can identify if you have more of such parameters. So all you need to do is fetch the unique values of LB test CD and LB test. And then if the issue is like, uh, inconsistent value for LB test within LB test CD you need to get use the LB test so, and there is an other check which says inconsistent value for LB test CD within LB test so if that is the case you will run your proc freak for your LB test variable so that way it will give the test which has the same value but the test CD value differs so you'll have to filter that way so now let, let us come back and then see what other issues so here LB so we in the previous LB data set LB example also we have seen that these two issues cannot be fixed or I chose not to fix this issue for some reason and then we'll leave is this as is in this video also and then in the next issue it says lbst refc it is saying us or kind of cautioning is that so it's an expected variable and it is missing and all the records so let's assume that this is acceptable and let's not worry about this issue in this video and then in the last issue it says 
multiple lb lob xfl records for the same test so within a subject so it is saying that abc 001 001 for alb so lob lb lob xfl there are multiple records which have a value of y so it's a second record so we'll also try to see uh, how to fix this issue we'll try to at least understand what the issue is so let us check this lb test related issue first so for that what we need to do is we need to have an understanding of what could that test lb test value should be so let us go ahead and see the values allowed values for alb lb test cd so for that i'll go to the website i'll go to the resources section i'll go to the sdtm version index and then i'll filter for lb and then i'll try to select the variables all the variables which are present in lb and i have the code list associated with lb test cd variable now i'll click on this so i am opening it in a new tab so here in the code so which is i have the short code list is lb test cd on the long code list is lb test so i am trying to filter for alb so there is a row called alb here and for which the test should have been albumin so for some reason in the input data which we pass for pinnacle 21 report only the alb the first three letters were there so we need to fix this for lb test cd alb the test should be albumin so let us now go to the excel sheet i have already fixed that so the lb test on where it was alb so now i have made it as albumin so now let us try to fix other issues also before we move. so alb we have fixed so it said alb was not there in your standard code list so how do you check for it so let us try to remove the filter here so for this issue what the message was lb test value not found in extensible code list so we'll have to search for this exact same text uh, so as this is for lb test so we need to check for the decode value if you are using the control terminology from this website otherwise you will have to go to the control terminology associated with uh, lb uh, test and then try to figure out and then if you see there are some values which begin with alb but there is no exact record wherein the test could be alb so this is what exactly it is saying that it is trying to check if the exact entire text alb is one of the possible value in lb test so it is not the case so it checked in this entire list and then said it was not able to find it in the standard terminology so we have fixed this and then for alb and alb so we have fixed the albumin so this should fix the second issue as well and then in the third issue also so we were we have identified programmatically that so for alb so on one record it is alb and the other record it is albumin so we have fixed it so on all the records of albumin now we'll have so there are two records of albumin on both of them now we have the lb test value as albumin so that inconsistent lb test value within lb test is also resolved so now let's come back to the other issues so and then we have this issue which is related to lb dtc so let us go back to the input data that we have used under lb so it said on record 2 so the date seems to be incorrectly formatted so if you have to follow iso 8601 we need to have year first and then month and then day so this is incorrectly populated so what i did is i fixed the lbdtc here so you would if you are working on real time data you would fix it in your program on which creates your lb data set so i have fixed it here in the excel file and then we have next issue so which was related to lb lob xfl it said there is more than one record which which said multiple records have lb lob xfl is equal to y within the same test within subject so for subject 1001001 so let us go back and then go to our lb 
data set here so on record 2 this is for ALB within the same test it said there are two records so same subject same test CD so these are the records of the same subject and same test CD and we have two records with the baseline flag populated as Y so you would again see why this has happened and then you would fix so I am assuming that the value on the second record should not have been populated and I'm assuming that it has been fixed programmatically and I have removed that flag here so now I have made the changes which could fix the issues so again I'm repeating so you would programmatically fix the things which were identified in your real-time programming and then now let us try to use this updated data set as input and then try to generate the report so let us come back so and then use the fixed sheet for our checks so now my xpt file is generated let us go to p21 close this remove the previous file go back and then use the updated file open and then click on validated again so earlier there were around 17 messages now it has come down to 12 messages let us open the report and then see so let's go to detail sheet so we have said that we will leave this issue as is for this for the purpose of this video so but in real time case if you run into this issue you need to fix this and then we had this additional message which was related to all values being missing on one of the expected